One trend everybody should try this year is different color appliances. We're always going with the stainless steel. Now we have color and we can utilize it. And some of these manufacturers utilize it in the best way. Incorporating floral prints into your home. It doesn't have to be an old fashioned floral, but a nice modern sort of graphic floral print. Remember when you were younger and your mother told you not to wear gold and silver together? Well, guess what? You can mix your metals now. So everybody should be trying to mix their metals at home. I'm one that doesn't actually follow trends. I think the trend for you is what your personality is and how you really want to live and put that in and make the trend yours. I think in the past we've really seen a lot of people trying to bring the outdoors in. This is a great way to bring the outdoors inside your home with farm animals. Just make sure you got lots of paper towels. Definitely the way to Marie Kondo your life is to at least just get rid of things that you're not using. I just did it in my own home and I've freed up so much space, it feels so good. We can actually see our clothes, which is the beauty of Marie Kondo, because now you can see what shirts you're digging out of the drawers, and <laughs> but they're folded like, like she folds them upwards. You can see all your clothes and you can know which ones you're not gonna use or you haven't used in like two years. I purge every three months. I hate having too much stuff around. So if I haven't used it, it gets donated. If you're not using it every day and it's like it's just for show, then you need to put it somewhere in a display case. If you don't have a display case, then it needs to be displayed outside next to the garbage can. Uh, and then the other thing is uh, it's really cleansing, especially if you've gone through a bad breakup. Just burn everything. It should be something we do every five years or so. I think it's really scary for people to think that, you know, they have to go through and take everything out all at once and start over. Take baby steps and uh, find that piece that really makes you happy get rid of the other one. Here's my go-to design tip. Hire a designer. They know what they're doing. Spatial arrangement. Make sure you know what furniture you're going to bring in and make sure it's not too big and bulky or slim and small because then the room is not going to feel right. Energetically, it's not going to feel right and definitely not going to look right. I see this happen all the time. Rug sizes are not correct. You want your furniture pieces, at least the front two legs, to sit on the rug. No floating rugs, nothing too oversized. All right, now this comes from experience because I have ripped off somebody's roof and I've looked down and a married couple was still sleeping even though the guy told us, like, nope, I want you here at 7 a.m. tomorrow. And I remember her saying, that's it, I'm done. <laughs> and so remember that renovation could also lead to divorce. But my biggest tip before you start any project in renovation is don't be stupid, it's not smart. What I like to do is start with the fabrics. That way I know I can go out, I can you know, find something that's economical, and I can always find other furniture and paint colors to put with it. But you know, if you go out and try to find a fabric after you put everything else together, you may have to spend a lot of money to find something that really works for everything else. Tune into the, the premiere of Trading Spaces, March 16th on TLC.